Hi, I'm Loki, and today I want to be making a video on how you can reinstall Windows on your Telus T-Book 11. If it happens, you have to be in the situation where you try to fly the Android and you get rid of the Windows 10. You can probably use this process to restore your Windows. Thank you. And you are you are going to be needing the following: a keyboard, a mouse, and an external USB port, and a working computer. These are what you are going to be needing in order to. So now, for you to be able to restore your TLS TLS T Book Eleven. <coughs> You need the following files. First, you have to go to Teles website and download and download the device file, the device your device file. Go to Teles Teles website, download, enter your device ID, which is located at the back at the back of your Telex, and which is located here. Sorry which is located at the back of your device here device id this is my device id if e5 e3 so you enter it then you are, maybe you might find many many files there but don't worry about it they are all the same you just pick one file inside on and download then next after after that go to microsoft website and download windows 10 Windows 10 for 64 bit ISO. Then you don't you have to download that from Microsoft from Microsoft website. 64 bit. Then next then the third you have to download Rufus. Rufus. You you can search on Google for it it's not normally too much is our this the software is about 800 uh, some some 800 or something kilobytes it's not to one megabyte so you have to download that and lastly you have to download the drivers for tbook 11 for teles tbook 11 64 bit with these drivers after installing after installing uh, with this drive, after installing your Windows, you need it to drive the sound, the network, the touch screen, so on like that. So you are going to really, really need it. So these are what you are going to be needing. So after you have downloaded your device file, all this, then first you have to extract because your device file is in RAW format. So you have to extract it to a folder that you can you can you can see it extract it to create a new folder and on your search screen or anywhere and extract it into the folder then do this do the same also to to the drivers here create a new folder and extract extract it to a new folder so after the extraction as after the extraction then we are going to be using Rufus now. Open up Rufus. Open up Rufus. Yes, and accept the changes. This is Rufus here. So you will be needing a flash drive. Slot in your flash drive. And remember, if you have any important information in your flash drive, copy them before you make you you make a, you copy them before you you perform this you perform this because it's actually this software is actually going to format your format your memory card from school I mean, excuse me format your flash drive so if you have any portal file you have to copy them and save them to either the computer you are using or external hard disk in order not to lose them before doing it before starting this process then it's in an advanced option right now then you can click 
think on this to 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 set it in standard uh, stand, standard options then click it's already on io ios image so nothing to change here just click on the disk here and select the window 10 the window 10 is iso for 60 for 64 bit you download it select it and click on open and this is it so then you click on start to start debugging it so it's telling me that it's going to it's going to de delete the data in this thing it's okay continue so it has to format and before start before it start debugging debugging the uh, the ios the, the installation file so i might want to pause the video here because this takes a little process when it's almost finished i'll continue from there so where we here we go the window 10 iso is uh, is almost completing its debugging almost completing and already comp it has completed its debugging so right now i'm going to close rufus then what we have to do next is go to you have to go to your file to your computer you have to you have to go to your computer or your file explorer or your file explorer and locate and locate your disk and locate the flash drive disk which is currently this copy all the files inside copy the window 10 these are the files roof was just debug from the disk so copy everything copy it to a new folder i'm going to be creating a new folder for this So I'm going to be copying this copy. Then let me close this. So I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to create a new folder here and paste it. And paste and paste what I just copied. So I'm going to paste it in this new folder before I can do anything. paste so I have to wait for it to paste to finish pasting before I could do anything so by the time is almost by the time it's fin it's almost finishing we we'll continue so here it's almost done copying the window tear ISO to the new folder So we are done copying we are done copying the window window 10 iOS S5 from the from the flash drive to the memory from from the flash drive to another folder. So what we have to do now is we have to open Rufus again. Yes, make changes. This process we are about to undertake is very fast, so it won't be wasting any time. So this time you have to click on format Tango Advanced. You see on Tango Advanced option this arrow. You have to click on it. Then go to the go here, go here, click on it, and go to the last option at the bottom and click on it. When you are done. When you are done, click on start. So it's going to tell you, it's going to delete, like reformat your flash drive. So click on OK because that's the reason why we copied the the 
we do 10 files we just debug to a new folder so that we can copy them back this process is very fast anyway so it will take long so there's no need for me to be pausing the video here and restarting like you've seen it's almost already completed So it's as completed as completed the process. So what you have to do now, you have to close Rufus. Rufus, then I have to go into I have to sorry, this was with file we created just now. So I have to open file explorer. And go to my memory card which is this so you'll find out that there are two new files inside so all you have to do is leave this are the this is just the action it, it did recently so these files you have to create them in order to for the process to work so we won't be we won't do anything instead we'll be adding more files into the flash drive into the into the flash drive which means we are going to i'm going to open the folder that i stored the window 10 ios and copy everything um, and copy everything here and i'm going to be copying everything here And I'm going to be copying everything here. So I'll click on copy, copy. So let me just go to and close. Then file explorer. I've already opened the flash drive folder. So I'm going to be pasting the window 10 iOS file here. In, inside the flash inside the flash drive so i'm going to paste so i'll be pausing it for now if anything comes up i'll continue then i'll, I'll i'm going to be pausing the video anyway for now for now so whatever comes up next i'll, I'll continue from there so because for now it, it needs to copy so i can't wait down now. so let me just hold hold on for you hold on here So please, I want you to keep something in mind on this video. When you copy, when you are copying the iOS file into the into the USB flash drive, it gets to or when it's almost done, it show some it shows something of this nature that some there are some files that already exist that are the same. If you want, if you would like to replace them with the new one from the window. From the window 10 ISO, you you are cop, you are copying into the drive. So in this case, in this first case, choose skip these files. Don't replace them. Skip the skip the file for for it to finish. It's finished already. So skip the file. So the next process, the next process is we are going to be copying. We are now going to go to the, the file we extract from. We extracted from the file we downloaded from Tele, Teles website of your device, the, the device file. So after copying the window 10, you, the window 10 USB install, install files into the USB flash drive next thing next file you have to you have to copy is the file you extracted from your device file which you downloaded from Teles website so i'm going to open it up when it opens select the windows select window copy all the files here copy all the files 
uh, here. Copy. Then go to your flash, go to your USB flash drive and paste them here and click on paste. I'll be pausing the video here. Anyway, to the complete. So is <coughs> so it's going to show a notification like this that the destination file has identified that as are the same name. So if you want, if you want, if you want them to be replaced, in this case, just click on let me decide. Let me decide for each file. Then, then let me decide. So here. You are going to be looking at files that are the, all these files are the same all of all these files are the same all of these are the same except all of these files are the same are the same so So what I'm going to do here is that when you see something of this nature like this is this are the files already in my flash drive already in my flash drive and all other files are the same file so I want it to replace every file I want to replace want it to replace all the files in my flash before you replace all the files before replacing all the files first you go to your go to your memory go to your flash drive and copy out this this very file Copy out the auto setup file. Copy this out. Auto setup, auto run. If possible, copy these very two files out. Copy these two files out. Auto run, auto run. So copy them and paste them somewhere in your screen. Let me put them in folder so that I can easily so so paste them here paste them in your new folder don't take time anyway so paste them here minimize or close then go to go to the Go to the previous file you were copying to replace then and click on and click on and click on replace and click on the first option here. Then go to the bottom and click on continue so that it replaces all the files there. So when you are done, when the process is done, when the process is done. When the process is done, 
go back to the files you just copy that are over here those two files we just copy copy both highlight both and copy them then go back minimize go back to your this is still my flowers drive over here and paste them Or just you can just clean, go to the flash drive here and click on paste so it's going to tell you that the files already exist so replace it replace them with this with this one you want to want to input the reason is because those files contain contain their files that you can use to run the USB type of installation of the tab is the tab requires so after this pause the video after this i'll be pausing the video after this close the file close the file and unplug your usb your usb is set for installation now so the next process i'll be showing you the configuration on your tbook 11. Oh, on your tbook 11 plug the otg cable the short cable then attach your external usb port to it and plug in the keyboard the keyboard the key and plug in the keyboard then you turn it turn your tablet on as your tablet is turning on clean the escape on the keyboard for you to enter the bios so right now i'm in the bios i'm in the bios settings so Click your right, right, right to navigate to the boot. You find out that your fast boot is disabled. Click on enter and enable it just like it as it is here. Go to USB support. Click on enter and make it full, full initial, fully initial. This this reason is because if it's not fully initial it's always if it pattern initial it's, it's just going to support one usb port it won't support the rest so if it's fully to support the three usb port so it can read all the three devices mouse my flash drive uh, so make it full then turn this val turn the value here under boot options turn them to uf u UEFI UEFI boot built in EFI then save your settings save and exit your settings so once you have save and exit the settings turn on the the device is going to reboot so when it reboots when it reboot Press the escape key on your keyboard to go into the BIOS. So this is the BIOS. So navigate, navigate to the save and exit. Then under boot manager, you are going to discover that your USB, your UFI arrow storage device is there. Is there? So click on it to start storing. If you didn't detect it at the first time, just turn off turn off the tablet just turn off the tablet and re on, turn it on again and turn it on, back on again and press the escape as it's turning on for you to access the bio so by this time you must have find it there then click on it to start installation you just have to come to the boot this time you are going to meet an option an option here over the data override including this the storage which is mouse storage device pattern 2 which I just which I just I just uh, fix the pattern 2 mean is for the is for the window operating system so <coughs> for you to install to you to install recover your OS 
when you select the mass record the mass storage device click on enter click on on the enter why I, <coughs> why i do why i do prefer to use this storage this this uh, why i do prefer to install from the bios is because when when i flash my memory at first <coughs> at first the window os was present in the dual os but i couldn't put into the window but it get it goes to some it get got to some time the the window os icon was not was not present so it was only left alone the android so if you are in both situation if you have both situation you can boot you can boot from the from the mouse usb in three different form you can boot through the android by instructing the android to boot to window <coughs> through this procedure it's going to boot you into the window then use your memory card use your installer flash drive as the installer to recover or for you to reinstall the os it takes you straight to the install recovery package because everything is already in your flash drive or you can you can use this other phone <coughs> if your o if your window os is still present in the dual os menu in the dual os menu the android and the the way you select to boot to android and window then you can just turn your device on so when you are asked to boot which operating system you want to boot it to click on the window and click on ok so it's going to boot from the it's going to is it's going to boot from the memory card so it won't it won't it won't boot it won't boot and close all turn blank screen so it's going to boot from the memory card but right now i will be booting it straight from the from the bios though i won't be making for installation because i just recently made this installation install it so so this is going to take me stress to reinstall all my app i've just reinstalled recently on the update but i'm just i'm still going to show you the, on this preview how it's done so you click on you select the part b you select the pattern under the under the window boot manager you select the uefi <coughs> UE, <coughs> uefi mass device to region you click on enter it's going to boot to window it's going to boot to window <coughs> just be patient it's going to boot to window this is how it will boot up then it loads like i said i won't be definitely installing this os but i will just take you through the procedure So here you will have to select the language of which it will be it will be using to install. And remember right now in this process your screen is no longer functioning. So your screen is no longer functioning. No functioning. So that's the reason why you will be needing the mouse and the keyboard to select. So Follow this procedure. Move to next. Move to next. You can either install now or repair. When you click on install, it's going to take you to the hard disk inside for you to select which hard disk you want it to install to because there are two different hard disks in it. The one for window. <coughs> There are two different hard disks in it. I don't want to install this. Don't want it to have an effect on my
Give him a chance to know. In. So you have to continue from here because I just have to show the system down. You are going to you are going to con, you are going to select after setting it up it will ask you to select the hard disk you want it to install to. <coughs> then you have to choose the hard disk that is assigned to the pattern that is assigned to Windows, which you will see it among the menu. Different of different volume it will be like 36 gigabyte that is the one aside from volume select it with your mouse and and below below it you are going to see options like new delete format format it format format the pattern when it finishes formatting continue with the installation so window be the window will begin to copy files so you have to be patient when once <coughs> when the files are all the files are copied on the system if the file are copy every everything is copied the system will shut down then when the system shut down detach detach your flash away from it then and let it now boot to you to the to window itself detach your flash drive away from your system from the USB port so it will not boot to your system do not boot to the system so you you continue with the installation by con by doing the configuration so every all the files necessary for it to install are already be copied to the system so it does the installation and you you get back and you will be at the home when it's finished put you have to insert your flash drive you have to insert your flash drive into the into the into the pc you are using you use you using debugging the app and copy in copy the drivers files into it I'm going to reinsert it here so I reinsert it this time I'm going to I'm going to now copy the drivers here these are the drivers I'm going to be copying drivers here so these are the drivers so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy this file I'm going to copy it and paste it in the flash doesn't doesn't does nothing it does nothing so I just have to paste this inside because my PC is good by, by now the PC has installed so you just have to copy the drivers file inside then when it's done when it's done because I want to show you how to <coughs> install the drivers so right now it's copying <coughs> so at this particular point in time your Wi-Fi won't be working your speakers, your, your audio won't be functioning, Bluetooth won't be functioning, nothing will be functioning. So this time you have to install install the drivers you downloaded. You downloaded. So I'm just going to wait for it to finish. So right now, the, the, the file is almost copied, it's almost copied to the, it's almost, it's almost completed copying to the flash drive. So as soon as it's completed, 
as soon as it's completed, I will have to detach. I will have to detach it. <coughs> Sorry about that. So it's it's completed copying the files into my drive. So right now, I'm going I'm going to be I'm going to be insert. I'm going to fix. I'm going to fix it in my. I'm going to fix it back in my external device. So this your system is is going to rec recognize it. So what you are going to do is pick up your mouse. Don't worry about what you are seeing here, but what I'm trying, what I'm explaining is what you are, what you will notice, what you are going to notice anyway. So right now you have to clean confines on your system. You have to clean confines. You have to locate your flash drive. Then you have to you have to search for the file, for the file with the drivers, because. At this particular point in time, your touch screen is not working, so you are going to be needing the mouse. The mouse. The mouse. So I'm going to just look for the file with. my god <coughs> sorry it's like i didn't copy i didn't copy it here i didn't copy it to where i'm supposed to because i'm supposed it's supposed to be it's like i didn't select the memory card select to copy it into the memory card i'm seeing the file somewhere so i have to i we have to recopy it right now have to recopy it from this thing so because i must have to copy it into my flash drive sorry for sorry about that so i have to I have to move the folder I have to I have to cut it and paste it into my storage drive i have to paste it here it has to be here so I'll be posting the video now. So the file has finished. I finished copying the file. So <coughs> I will have to slot it. I will have to remove remove the flash drive and slot it into the external flash drive I plugged to my Telest Telest T Book Eleven. So, in the system, and now I'm going to go into, now, when you, when you put the flash drive on your stylus, use your mouse to navigate the, the file, use your mouse to navigate the file explorer, go to your flash drive, and locate the file, the file. That contains all the drivers you want. So this is the file that contains my drivers. So I, I will open it now. All these are the files that you use to drive your driver. So you are going to be installing them one by one, one after the other. So if for you to install them for the battery, for you to install it, you have to click on it to open. Then you click on it again. So then you open the battery management device. So these are the contents. These are what you will find. So the what you will be installing in any folder you enter should be the the file that is OEM OEM, which is the setup file. So for you to be able to do this, you can't do this with a keyboard unless you have a keyboard that has the print, the print page button. 
because if you have to use the keyboard to navigate once you press enter it will be suggesting an app it will be suggesting an app for you to so you need a mouse for this for this for this uh, you need a mouse to do this so you right click sorry you left click for options sorry so you, you click on the OME setup and click on option you are going to see open this this is why the keyboard is not advisable if you click on enter it's going to open it which will be recommending you to download an app that can view it but in this in this case we have to install it when you click on install it's going to tell you it will make changes to the pc just accept it just yes it and wait for it to tell you it has been installed let me just use this as an example i've already installed them in my phone so it has been installed so it's telling me that it's, i should restart now for it to to apply these changes but i'm going to set i'm going to click on later so you have to ignore so you have to then you go back to the main file and go to display hd then search for the file with the oem oem file search for the oem file is it's usually the setup file so or you can your press o in your bounty in your in your keyboard anyway anyway just look for the set up o o e m file and this is the o e m almost at the bottom so o e m 28 which is the setup information when you click on it and right left click then you see install you install once you do, have done the installation which it tells you it says it has been installed back it this is how you will install all the drives all the drive to be functional you go to the next one each folder install the drive that contains the oem all this you have to install all these drives in in these folders in order for your system you know, to function properly the oem 10 you install them or you install all the drivers but you won't have any problem only way i had a problem i had problem was the image when I tried to install the image, it was telling me that the certificate couldn't be confirmed. But anyway, after, after I've installed the drivers and the touch, the network started working, stuff like that. And I updated it because this is the one controlling the camera. It will be con this is the one that makes the camera function. So after I've upgraded it, everything started functioning. So after it, after you have installed these things on the touch, the sound, the network are all working. Try try and connect to the internet and update the windows by going to the settings. By going to the settings here. And update and update your window. The moment when you update it go back and reinstall that very last one which is the camera which is the camera reinstall it it will it will not reinstall and your camera will be functioning so everything will be functioning as usual so thanks I, this video i took time to i didn't i did it I did it because I know that there are many people like me out there who it who is going to be useful to because I I looked I, I searched for help I I couldn't get it wasn't easy before I could come up and reinstall my OS after I've messed up with it. So if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and please like the if you please like the video and subscribe to the channel. 
I will try and provide the link which you can get those files those files where you can download those files so I'm, lo I'm lucky I'm lucky once more and I hope you enjoy the video if you have any question you just if you have any question no, you you can you can write you can write I will try as much as possible to create time to answer them so see you see you some other time thanks a lot bye for now